Hello friend, thanks for joining me for another video blog. So if you watch my latest video that I post a couple days ago, and there's a link here below if you missed it, I talked about meaning, how we create drama, how we increase or even create upsets based on the meaning we assign to events, behaviors of others, and how we can dwell in that space and create so much drama for ourselves. To continue this conversation, today I'm going to speak about triggers. You know I have an acronym RUT, Reactions, Upsets and Triggers, because they're all connected. So think of triggers. When you get triggered by somebody, that a trigger is basically an activation. Something got activated inside you. And the only reason we get triggered is because we are carrying something inside us that got activated with that action that came from outside. I'm not here to say that sometimes people don't do things that might cause us hurt, upsets, but this is the deal. Anytime we get upset and we stay in that place, it's no longer about the present moment. It's no longer about that behavior that the person had or that event. So the invitation is always to explore. So before I dive a little bit deeper into this, I want to read one of my favorite um, paragraphs, paragraphs of a book called The Diamond Heart by H. Almas. He's actually a teacher of my teacher, Dr. Gabor Mate. So I want you to uh, listen to these words. Your conflicts, all the difficult things, the problem, problematic situations in your life are not chance or haphazard. They are actually yours. They're specifically yours, designed specific, specifically for you by a part of you that loves you more than anything else. The part of you that loves you more than anything else has created roadblocks to lead you to yourself. I'm going to read this last part again. The part of you that loves you more than anything else has created roadblocks to lead you to yourself to lead you to your truth. So I know this can be a hard concept. What, what he's talking about here is that we have this part of us that you can call your higher self, your intelligent self, the intelligence of your heart, your divine self, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. But this is part of you that will attract, will create situations for you to see the truth. Because the healing process, the transformation process, as we heal the inner child, the wounded child in us, it's a process of getting back to our truth. It's actually a process of remembering who we truly are without all the stories and the drama that we, we created for ourselves, what was created for us in our childhood, and then we kept creating and recreating more as we became an adult. So think of a trigger as, as a... As something that is telling you that you are holding baggage, you holding a belief, you hold a wound from the past that it's causing anger, it's causing anxiety, it's causing sadness, it's causing hurt, it's causing guilt. And again, there's a difference between experiences, experiencing those emotions temporarily and they will pass. That's appropriate. And it's another thing when you experience those emotions and you stay in that state. That's what I define as a upset. You upset in the hurt. You upset in the sadness because of somebody trigger you. So let me tell you that the, the worst thing you can do when you are triggered. Number one, before I even go to the worst thing, be aware when you're triggered. That's where emotional intelligence comes in. There's several books that speak about emotional intelligence. The best one always, Daniel Goleman. He was the, you know, the guy, one of the guys that really brought emotional intelligence to, to all of us. But the worst thing you can do, once you recognize your trigger, and you're gonna know because your body's going to react. It's, it's a visceral reaction. You're gonna feel it. So the worst thing you can do at that moment is to react toward another person. Because in that reaction, again, you are no longer in the present moment. You are not able to see the facts, the truth at that moment. You're going to see the situation 
based on your perception, based on your baggage of anger, of sadness, of hurt, of guilt. So you no longer can see what's really happening. So reacting is the worst thing you can do. Second thing, to take an action from that place. Like don't sign any contract, don't make a phone call, don't send an email when you are in the place of trigger, okay? And the third one, don't beat yourself up because you're feeling that way. Don't judge yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself because you're feeling that way. Because guess what? I've been doing this work for over 10 years and I got triggered. Last week I got triggered. I had like three days when I just spent at home basically quiet by myself because I was triggered. I was dealing with some echoes of my past, some stuff around, uh, around relationships and just around attachments. So um, be gentle to yourself. So this is what I'm going to invite you to do. Instead of reacting, acting, beating yourself up, I would like to invite you to, first of all, when you trigger, be curious. Be curious about the trigger because, again, the trigger is informing you of something that you hold in your body. Again, it's like A.H. Alma said, your higher self created that so you can get closer to you, to your truth. So that's something that got unlodged from your unconscious mind, something that was so buried deep in your unconscious mind. And in order for you to see that it exists within you, you had to be triggered. So I see triggers now as something good. It's not comfortable, but I'm always grateful. I actually practice forgiveness towards all the people that trigger me, even the people that, that were, you can say, rude, mean, cruel, I have gratitude because that reflection of them allow me to see something that I was carrying and allow me to grow and heal and transform because of that. So be curious about what this trigger is telling you. Second, be compassionate. Just be compassionate with yourself. Be gentle, explore, because it's a process of learning. It's a process of deepening your relationship with yourself and your heart. So be compassionate. And third, you can use your intellectual mind on this one by asking what is the belief that is behind this trigger? What is the, the belief behind this upset? Why I'm so upset about this behavior that this person presented? Why I'm so upset about this event, this global event that's happening? Why I'm so upset? I'm gonna just sit and then sit in a, in a meditation where you just create stillness and you become present what it is. Or you can practice walking meditation, go for a walk and just open your mind and just do a self-inquiry. Just ask your heart, what, what's my body holding that's causing this upset? Explore. And if you want to explore this deeper, if you want to work on this for six weeks with my guidance, with some one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm starting a course next week, next Thursday, 8.30 Easter time, where we're going to be in a Zoom call every week, and I'm going to give, uh, uh, I'm going to share some content, more about triggers, reactions, and how do we start cleaning up this rut from our childhood. So we're going to do some work on the wounded child, learning how to connect with this aspect of us, the wounded child, know how to connect with other parts of us that we are uh, avoiding. We're going to do some shadow work. So join me next week. This course is very affordable. Show me a message. It's only $322 for six weeks. This is like a, like a $700 value. So if you want to join me in this program for six weeks, Foundations of Inner Child Healing, please show me a message. Ask me any questions to make sure this is for you. And I would love to see you in this program for six weeks where we're going to take a much deeper dive into meanings and reactions, upsets and triggers so you can experience more joy, more love, more abundance because that's what you're designed to feel. You are not designed to be struggling and to be in stress and survival every day. That's an old story. So if you want to rewrite a new story, which is what the heart, it's really about, join me in this course. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you very soon. Mwah.